In this tutorial in CyberLink Par Director, we're going to show you how you can add a snow effect to your scene. You'd be surprised how often in commercial videos they use the effects rather than real snow because it's infinitely cheaper. So look at the following example of the same scene you're seeing without snow and then with snow, and then we'll show you the ways you can bring in the kind of snow effect that you want, mixing and matching what's available in the tools in PowerDirector. <music> to create snow, we are going to rely on two elements. We have an overlays room and an effects room. They work slightly differently, but you can mix and match these to create the kind of snow that you want in your particular scene. Let's start out by working with overlays. We'll click here. And when I'm in my overlays, I have a bunch of particles that are snow particles. To find them easily, all I need to do is do a search. Now I've done one on snow. I'll delete it and pretend I haven't. Type in the word snow, press enter, and here are my snow particles. Now some of these are not ones that are realistic. If I click on this one, for example, it's like a tree coming down from a star. If I click on this one, it is snow borders. I found that there are six of them that are realistic. So those are the ones we're going to work with. The first realistic one I want to work with is called heavy snow. When I click on it, it's hard to see on the black screen. So I'm going to drag and drop it down. Now the particles always sit on a video track. So I'm going to put this on video track number two. And when we play it, we're going to see we have this effect, which is a bit of a mist and snow coming down from the upper right corner. Not too bad overall. In the subsequent tutorial, we'll show you how you can modify each of these particles to fit your particular design on what the snow should look like. But that's heavy snow. I'm going to hide the track by clicking on the eyeball on track two, so it will go away. And we're going to do another one. The second one is called light snow. I'll take and drag that and put it on track three. I don't have a track three, but PowerDirector will now create one. So now I have a track three with light snow. If we click on this one, we're going to see a slightly different effect. It's coming down softly, slightly bigger flakes mixed with small ones. You might want to use that. In the end, we're going to mix and match and show you what you, what you can do together. The third one that's realistic is called Slight Snow. I'll drag and put that on track four. It will create a track. And then I can see if I take track three, I will make that invisible and we'll see what the slight snow looks like. Slightly bigger flakes. Now these are bigger than what I would want. So this is one I would want to edit if I were to use it. The next one that we have that's available to us that is realistic is simply called Snowfall. I'll take and drag that down. It will become track number five. We'll tra tra take number four and we'll hide it. And we'll play number five. And so this is the one with snow, Snowfall. Now I'm going to do the next one. The next one is called Snowflakes. I believe it's quite a bit farther down. Here's Snowflakes. We'll take and drag and drop that. That will create track six. My snow track number five, actually. And again, we'll make the other one invisible. And we'll play this one. That's not bad. The last one I'm going to look at is called Snow 3D. So we'll take our current track, make that invisible. We'll take Snow 3D, drag it down to track number seven, which will be our sixth track of snow. And we'll play this one. And there is Snow 3D. Quite a different effect. Now, the nice thing that you can do when you're working with these particles, you can stretch them out as long as you want or shorten them. But what we're going to do in this case is we're going to turn all of them on. So I'm going to right click and click on Enable All Tracks. 
And now we're going to see what happens when we have all six of these at the same time. So here we have a mix, and you can mix and match, turn on the ones you want, unedited, and still have quite a bit of a snowstorm. Now, there's another tool we have that we can use as well that's not in our overlays room to create snow. It works slightly differently. We're going to go to the effects room now. I'll click on that. Again, I'm going to search my content for snow, and I've done that before, but I'll type it in like I'm doing it for the first time, and I'll press enter. Now, I have two kinds of snow. The snow, too, is unrealistic, so we're not going to use that one. We're going to use one generally called snow. Now, here's how it works differently from a particle. What you do when you use the effect is it will either work on the entire track on the entire clip. So if I drag it, I need to drop it on the video clip. Now, what it will do is it will apply that effect to every single frame on the video clip, no matter where it is. So I'm out here, and every frame now at, on this clip will be impacted by that. If I play it, I'm going to see that every frame has the snow in it. Now, what if I only want some of the frames to show the snow? I still can do that. I'm going to click on the Effect Snow, the little green box in the lower left corner, and we're going to modify that. Now, here's how I can modify it. We'll get into that in the next tutorial. But I'm going to simply click on the garbage can and remove the effect from the video track. So now it's gone completely. We don't see it anymore. What I want to do if I want to use part of the element where I have the same video is I need to work on an effect track. But I don't have any, so I need to right click and click on Add Tracks. I'm going to zero out the video plus audio, and I'm going to go down to the effect category and click on one. And I can put it wherever I want. Let's put it below track number one and click on OK. And now I have an effect track. You can see that with the FX on the left side. Now this is where I can also put my Snow 3D. I'll put it right here. And again, I can change the duration simply by dragging. And now I have no snow. But then when I click here, I'm going to see it working much like the particle did. So if I put it on its own dedicated track, it will be exactly the same in effect as if it were, I were treating it like a particle. If I want it on the entire clip, I simply drag and drop it on the video track itself. So let's take this and we'll change the duration to match the particles. And we'll do everything we've got, our whole our whole setup with a massive snow available in CyberLink PowerDirector. That's how you can use all these tools. Now in the next tutorial, we'll show you how you can modify each one of these to get the precise kind of detail that you might like in your snow effect when you're applying it to your video clip.